pretty good. Uh, number three, Cowboys from Hell, Fantera. Yeah, Cowboys from that Hell. That was on my list too. Number two, Temptations Wings, off the Nola by Down. And number one, my very favorite, I have the tattoo, should be a given. If I Was Your Vampire by Marilyn Manson, <laughs> Eat Me, Drink Me. Love it. Um, Sam's number one, he did tell me ten times today, is Slave to Rise by Sutures Cured by Porno. And that is a local band. Uh, my honorable was Box of Rain, Hell's Bells by ACDC, Back in Black, The Irresponsible Hay Anthem, and Running with the Devil by Van Halen. Very good. Very good. I actually had that on my list as well. Now let's hear your crap list. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the, the greatest list of them all is always mine. <laughs> That you didn't understand your no. It's always mine. You're the one. You know, let's let's back this up a little bit. I went over to Jackie's house last week, and what did I say before he even sent it? What did I tell you? Oh, I did. Yes, yes, yes. What did I tell him? Because we were talking about the fact that this was your week to pick the verses, your week to pick the top ten, and you couldn't even pick it. And he said. He'll message in, within a couple hours asking for our opinions. Well, I always like <laughs> to get opinions. And if you notice, when he did, I said, laugh at my ass off. And what was the first one that I put on there for verses? I put All My Brothers versus yes. Leonard Skinner. Me and Tina why? talked about I it. Because I was like, I said, All My Brothers. She said, Why don't you pick Skinner? And I was like, Wow, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. And that was the first, first thing we put on there. And he picked that first, so. <laughs> Are That's you whispering, whispering about Tina's hepatitis? Mike already knows about it. No, your mom. Well, she got it, it from you. Your mom's giving us all kinds of zingers on the phone, and I'm sure all the audience is paying attention to. So, Debbie, shut your fucking mouth. Debbie, I'll give you that twenty bucks I told you about later. So. And don't talk to your mama <laughs> like that. Ow. All right, I, I looked at this a little you. different. I picked the the best intros to songs. Uh, which is the way time. we were supposed to do, but that's okay. Music's he didn't follow the rules. There's so many ways to, to interpret music. It's a good he, thing. He didn't understand one thing. Uh, one of my favorites. I didn't really put these in an order. I'll save a couple of the better ones to last. But uh, Soundgarden, Jesus Christ pose is an incredible beginning of the song. I did do Van Halen, Run with the Devil, but I also said Hot for Teacher. Uh, got the drums and everything going at the beginning. Uh, I also have some really good classics that always stick in your head, like The Kinks. You really got me going. That's always a killer, you killer really intro. Me. You really got me going. You it's really just, got me. It, it's you really, really got me. me. Okay. Just that. All right, Kyle. <laughs> and I have an interesting tidbit about that song. Um, their guitar player, um, to get that... Um, kind of distorted, crunchy sound. He actually cut uh, holes in his amp with a razor blade. Yeah, I can see that. That's cool. Um, Derek and the Dominoes, Layla, uh, incredible beginning. About every ACD song has an incredible beginning, pretty much of any songs. They always have that basic three chord strum of some kind. Um, Thunderstruck and Highway to Hell are couple of my favorites on that. Uh, Ozzy Crazy Train is one of the greatest beginnings. Uh, Led Zeppelin, I picked one of them. I said Heartbreaker. Um, that's one of the incredible beginning. Uh, another famous, famous, I learned this on the guitar when I first started playing a long time ago. Deep Purple, Smoke on the Water. Um, Incredible. Any kid with Down syndrome can play that. Yeah. So, I got so sick of hearing that. I know. It's one of those. Uh, but it's easy to play and it's a classic, classic. Mind you, I can't play it. Uh, Does he ask, for example, two sons puppies after? <laughs> yes. Uh, Cream, Sunshine of Your Love is awesome <coughs> beginning. Uh, Aerosmith, Walk This Way, another killer one. Guns N' Roses, Sweet Child of Mine. Just some great guitar work at the beginning of that. Also, one of the greatest beginnings of a song would be Pink Floyd, Wish You Were Here. 
Um, always a big fan of Motley Crue, Livewire, and how that guitar and everything. <laughs> <is pretty bad. laughs> a lot of these are pretty simple if you think, but they're just catchy. They just well, stick in your head. I mean, ACDC songs are always so easy, but. I gotta go here because I know that if we would have messed up, we would have heard about it. So you're gonna hear about it. We already did lists like this as far as songs that you know as soon as you hear the first couple yeah, we tunes. Do. So, you might and know. it's not the beginning of songs. It was not the top ten. The top ten was the best top ten album intros. Well, you guys can be a little more specific. Album intros. Album. How's that not specific? You didn't say album You're intros. grounded. Yes, we did. It's yeah. even yeah. on the page. I'll look back and, and see. And when we do, <laughs> it's on the page. And when we do deep tracks, because I'm really into that yeah. one, um, deep tracks means no. songs that weren't released as singles. Yeah, okay, well, we'll, we'll talk about because that Because, you know, we would hear about it if we dropped I got like nine bands. Well, a lot of these, these last few were not any of my real favorites, but I consider them the intros and stuff to be so iconic. But they're so, not album intros. So let's go that route then, since I did do that. Uh, the Who, Barbara O'Reilly, uh, is a great start. Uh, uh, I've always loved the start of uh, Heart Crazy For You, the guitar work on that. And here's one that, that I'm not even a big fan of this band, but this song Madonna crazy might be. Boy, you would play better. Yeah, whatever. This this I'm this. I'm crazy about you. Touch I know you are. You know it's true. I know. But um. I never wanted anyone like this. It's all brand new. Uh, You're feeling. Can I finish? I got like two left here, fucker. <laughs> All right, uh, like I said, this is not one of my favorites, but this song here, the <coughs> intro, is so incredible and so detailed. But yes, Roundabout. If you listen to that song at the beginning of that, it is freaking incredible. I don't I, care I, for the 80s you know, stuff. But if you want to ask me what probably the all-time most famous beginning of any song in history, it's not rock and roll either, would have to be Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. That is the... And most incredible beginning of any song ever made in history. Dun 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 dun. dun. You know, I'm really surprised. Actually, I figured you would have nailed it, but since you didn't do the list right, yeah, that's the uh, one of the. I didn't even realize it was a number one track until today. Welcome to the jungle. Mm-hmm. I did not realize that. Or um, the Queens, we will rock you as a number one track. Yeah. Some of us actually a lot get of people, down and listen to Rexy. A lot of people believe Bohemian Rexy because they don't. Even, it's them singing at the beginning that is more iconic than anything else by them. And clearly, I'm the only one that does that out of this group. No, you're not. Mm-hmm. There's plenty of records being listened to in my house. You, you, not by you, stupid Mundy. <laughs> yeah, I'm not allowed to touch the record player. I wouldn't want to touch it. He lets me start it and flip it. And do you feel like you have? have It's shaking bacon. I have. You feel like you've achieved something (laughs) when you get to flip the record. Well, actually, it makes me nervous because first time he sees a scratch on it, I'm sure I'm going to get the money. All right, that's it then. So, Every thank time you for I say we do a show, in. quick show, these guys have. Thank you for tuning way in more. and seeing Mike's big blunder of the week. Shit. You're just mad because my list was 20 times better no, than No, your list was, my list was not better even right. than any of you all. So we here. already did that list. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think he's starting to get on timers. Mm-hmm. Sure. I think he's slacking. So I am gonna hang out with Kyle. If you wouldn't quit if you quit worrying so much about them stories and news, you might get your list right. Hey, you know. I I think it's probably You know I gotta kick this horse <coughs> as long as I can because I know next week is probably me. I try to bring all these <laughs> news stories and stuff that teach you some real top taste in music because I, all you listen to is Grateful Dead and Marilyn Manson. That's I all. figured the kidney shit's finally getting to his brain. <laughs> well actually I am quite versatile in my music. I get on Sam's nerves a lot. But and it would get on your nerves because I like some old school country too. Yeah. Me too. I like some blues. I love the blues. I can't say I like the blues. I love the blues. I, I like. I've been sevenfold. I like ah. disturbed. I like 
all kinds of music. I actually know a lot about country. I like more than any of them. I made, I, I showed Tina up in the car yesterday. She was talking about, I just want this song about fish and all that. And I go, I go, Nitty the Gritty Dirt Band is what you're talking about. And then shit. she kept talking. I said, you Nitty Gritty what? Dirt Band. She goes, yeah, that's it. And I said, yeah, I said that. You are a lying sack of shit. You did not even know what I was talking about. You said, I don't know that song. I don't. I knew you some of it. But I, I'm not a fan of them, but I knew what the song was. I knew why what she was saying. Why a little bit more? Why? Tell so, you why. Why a little bit more? Um, um, why a little bit more? I tell you what, though. I mean, I, Kyle and I got to revel in this moment because you two fly. Oh, whatever. You're just jealous I made better songs because you can't nope. pick any. Nope. I, I can follow okay. well, directions. Well, you know what? A couple of the ones now, I in like, her, no, look. In her defense, well, she's just going off what he told me. No, her. first of all, if you want to go technically by what you said, well, Warren G's first song was Regulate, so well, there's we all that know one. That. Uh, I picked two Madonna songs off two different albums that were the openers well, for both of Well, I want you to finish because albums. you hit the nail on the head better than I he did, did uh, with where you was going with it. Because the Madonna songs I picked was Papa Don't Preach, off of Papa Don't Preach, or and uh, Material Girl, which was on the Like Virgin. Opened them both up. Uh, I picked one off one of my favorite soundtracks, which was Eddie and the Cruisers soundtrack. Uh, and what else did I pick? That was beginning songs. So see, I had some. You, you could have got some good that picks. They're just all in the eighties. You could have. Hey. Tina, you can let the kid suffocate. She belongs to him, technically. <laughs> yeah, you can There's nothing there. wrong with the kid, anyway. Oh, the right. child is okay for all you out worried parents out there that we're neglecting our children yeah. to bring you this news. Don't call... Children uh, are okay. Don't call uh, Child Protective. Uh, yeah. If you do, just ask for Carrie. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll just give him any head. <laughs> All right, guys. That's Maybe next episode. week he'll get it right. You know, they're just jealous because I'm the master of music. So no, you, 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 can, you can butter your biscuit any way you want. And I got a lot and of I'm butter. And I'm better than all y'all. So. so you're the master of having a big ass fucking nose. Yeah, you got a master of master. <laughs> oh, and next week we are demanding. We have taken a private poll. There will be pictures. Mike has to wear his hair without his dapper Dan man, and wear it down. Tina doesn't like that because I look very sexy with long hair and it's getting very long now and she doesn't. You want, reminded me of like, she doesn't want that to be shared to the public. You, it reminded me of like sixteen year old skater. Model. I have not had a haircut since this virus happened. Uh, I usually like my hair very short, but I have not had a haircut since the virus. Why don't you go to my guy? I, I don't want one because I don't want to sit with a stupid mask while I'm trying to get my hair cut. I think of, I don't want to get into all that. He just likes but, the fact he's a dapper Dan man. But no, nah, I don't. I don't. I don't like this mask thing, so I won't get into that. But all right, guys, this is the last. Uh, this is the end of the show. Um, I appreciate you guys. Really, really, really. Thank you for watching. Follow the page. We've got some great stuff been going on with the memes and uh, we got some cool stories. To block that Debbie Wiley. <laughs> we are not blocking Debbie Wiley. Kyle Thomas. <laughs> Nope. I, I actually we'll have her on here and you're I, I think that'd don't be make good us idea. get out the baby powder yeah Kyle is soon to be replaced yeah <laughs> all right guys thanks for watching we'll be back again next Sunday at seven o'clock tell your friends tell your family rock out and uh you know make your comments here for the rest of the evening so you can try to win this forty dollar sweatshirt fifteen dollar gift certificate from underdog and from monkey Jack so thanks guys appreciate it woo word to your mother Word to his mother. Yeah, his mother. <laughs>